One of the biggest misconceptions with arthritis is that it's caused by wear and tear. I'm here to tell you that it is not caused by wear and tear. And the reason you need to know this is because it can dramatically affect the way that you treat it. So my name's Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy with Keep the Adventure Alive, and we are trying to bring hope and optimism to arthritis and make it seem not so scary. So today we're talking all about wear and tear. All of the, these three words get thrown around all the time with arthritis, and odds are you've probably heard it. One of the biggest reasons why this is a problem is because if arthritis is caused by wear and tear, so the more activity you did when you were younger, it wore on your joints, it damaged your joints. So thus, when you hear that, then the more activity you do will continue to damage your joints. But that is not the case because there's been various um, research studies, all sorts of very, very smart people looking into this because it is not caused by wear and tear. There is something else that is driving this pain, driving this irritation. Okay, so there have been a variety of different studies that are looking at imaging because that's one of the biggest things that leads to either a diagnosis of arthritis or just a surgical consult, whatever it is. They look at your image and they say, your joint is degenerating, you have this wear and tear, cartilage is gone, all of these things. But what's interesting is there's been a few different studies that I'm gonna link below, but also you can see them here, that imaging is does not correlate with pain because people have this can have the same image but one can have pain and one doesn't necessarily have any pain they can be asymptomatic and so that's kind of what triggered researchers to start looking at okay if osteoarthritis or if arthritis is not wear and tear then it has to be something else because these images are showing the same joint degeneration but one doesn't have pain and one does. So why does this one person have pain? And it's not the wear and tear, the damage to the joint that's actually triggering the pain. It is inflammation. And inflammation has been kind of a buzzword lately because it's been found that inflammation is really tied to a lot of different things. But <clears throat> what's interesting is that even though you're bone on bone, even though you have degeneration, what is causing your pain is that inflammation's coming in and irritating your joints, irritating some of those structures inside of your joint. The good news about this though, is that since it's not wear and tear, and since it's not necessarily irreversible damage that we've already done, because this pain is stemming from inflammation, we can actually do something about it because inflammation is caused by a variety of different things, but a lot of them can be modified. So a lot of them are just lifestyle habits. So what you're feeding your body with, what you are, how much you're exercising, what type of activity you're doing. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, all of those things, um, obesity plays a big part in it too. And so all of these things, most of them can be modified to a certain extent. So it's not this wear and tear philosophy of ultimately there's not really much we can do because it's already done but we can decrease some of that inflammation. And I know so many people that have turned around their, these lifestyle habits that are contributing to their inflammation and have seen amazing results to their arthritis pain without having to go through surgery or all of these different things because you have options because it's not just wear and tear. There's much more to it, but if we don't address this inflammation, then you're gonna continue to have pain. And so I just did a recent interview with Dr. Ann from Dr. Ann Wellness and what we talked about, she's an MD um, with functional nutrition and medicine. And what we talked about was ways that food can drive inflammation. And I'm gonna put that link below so you can go check that out because food is a primary driver of inflammation, but also exercise, doing the right type of exercise. And so I have other exercise videos down below that we, so how do we find and start a way to control this inflammation. We need to get out of our mindset that it's wear and tear and there's essentially nothing we can do about it and move into, okay, start asking ourselves instead, how can I control this inflammation? What am I doing that's revving up this inflammation and how can I impact that? How can I fix that? How can I decrease that irritation? And then that's when we start to see some truly amazing results with arthritis pain. For example, I have one client who literally gave up everything 
She used to hike, she used to snowshoe, she used to do all these outdoor things with her family because she had now given that up because she thought that her pain meant she was doing more damage to her knee. Exercise was causing more wear and tear on that knee because that's what she was told. But she didn't want surgery. They were ready to schedule a surgery. She did not want it. And so we started working together and it's building that confidence that exercise is not necessarily causing more damage, especially if you're doing the right type of exercise that the more activity we do, the better off we'll be if we can get the proper alignment and if we can get some of those things in check. But it is possible to thrive and to keep your adventure alive. And now she is even, she's hiking, she's snowshoeing, and she's even running again. And so it's just building that confidence and really understanding arthritis. And that's where we see some of that disconnect. And so if somebody is telling you that your arthritis is wear and tear, look beyond it, take it with a grain of salt and look beyond this inflammation, this what is driving up your inflammation, what is revving up that system that's causing more irritation because this can dramatically change the way that we treat this because wear and tear, the only option is just surgery, replacing the joint, getting rid of that irreversible damage. But looking on the other end, if we're controlling inflammation, we have diet, we have exercise, we have all of these things that can help us find pain relief and it's not just surgery. So if you found this video helpful, if you could go ahead and click that red subscribe button below, cause I have so many more videos coming up for you to help give you hope and to clear up some of these misconceptions because the more that we believe these misconceptions, the more that we are leaving treatment options on the table that can absolutely change your life. So thank you guys so much for watching. Share this with someone who also thinks arthritis is wear and tear. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.